Great, so let's begin by picking a posture that feels comfortable for you and your body right now. Maybe it's seated posture and a cushion. Maybe it's lying down or standing up. In any case, prioritize allowing your body to become comfortable in the posture that you've chosen. And from here, allow your body to relax. If there is any muscular tension that's present, maybe in your face or your jaw, shoulders, your arms, your legs, notice that and see if you can allow it to gently relax. Settling into this comfortable posture. And having taken a moment to relax, bring a gentle, easy smile to your face. Doesn't have to be a huge grin, just a gentle, easy, relaxed smile. See if you can establish that and maintain it for the whole practice period. This is our home base for metta practice. Having a comfortable posture, a relaxed body, and a gentle, easy smile on our face. You can always come back here, reestablishing a comfortable posture, relaxation, and this gentle, easy smile. Take a moment to become acquainted with what this place feels like in the body. And if there's any enjoyment or satisfaction associated with it, really enjoy it. Even if it's small. All of these preparations have been embodied, taking place in the body. And now we'll begin to prepare our minds for metta practice. Consider and reflect on things in your life that you're grateful for. Of course, each of us face challenges, have difficulties. 
but with a little creativity and effort, each of us can find something that we're grateful for. Even something as simple as the air that you're breathing right now. Or that you had clean water to drink today. Or food to eat or people to share it with. Of course, it can be anything you like, anything that you are genuinely, truly grateful for at this time in your life. Reflect on that and feel that gratitude in your body. as you consider these things that you're grateful for, see if you can use mental talk to reflect on them in your mind. Saying a phrase like, feel grateful for the food that I ate today. And you can include as much detail or as little detail as you like. See if you can use mental talk to reflect on these things that you're grateful for. for each thing that you're grateful for, that you're reflecting on. Say that clearly in your mind. Make sure that you can really hear the phrase in your mind, whatever it is. You can say that you're grateful for the same thing over and over again, or move through a lot of different things. Anything's fine, but practice using mental talk to summon the sense of gratitude.
And as you move through stating each phrase to yourself, notice if there's any reaction or resonance in the body. See if you can feel the sense of gratitude in the body. That may or may not be available for you. But if it is, notice it and really enjoy it. This is the same basic move that we'll be practicing tonight in our loving kindness practice. Generating phrase, phrases of loving kindness and noticing if there's any pleasurable resonance in the body. So continue to practice that with gratitude for another moment. Very good. Now we'll transition into doing some loving kindness practice. Consider someone in your life that's easy for you to love. Maybe it's yourself. Maybe you feel a lot of love for yourself. That's a totally valid, excellent option. Maybe it's a partner or a family member or a teacher, or perhaps a small child in your life, son or daughter, or grandchild, niece or nephew, a neighbor. Maybe it's a pet that you have, a dog or a cat. I saw some rabbits in my yard earlier today, so I'll use them. Really any person or animal is totally fine. It could even be imaginary, alive or dead. But pick someone that's easy for you to love. And having selected this person or animal, begin to use mental talk to direct a sense of love, and friendliness and care towards this person or animal. A simple phrase that you can use is, 
May you be happy. May you be happy. But you can use any phrase or phrases that you like. You can use a lot of different phrases. They can be stock or they can be made up on the spot. The rabbits that I saw were jumping, so it feels appropriate to say, I hope you enjoyed jumping tonight. I hope that brought you a lot of joy. You can be creative and playful. There's no right phrase to use. In any case, practice using mental talk to direct love and care towards the person or animal that you've selected. If you're not sure what to say, you can just say the phrase, may you be happy, over and over again. May you be happy. May you be happy. Continue to use mental talk. These phrases to direct love and care towards the person or animal that you've selected. You can use the phrases at whatever rhythm you'd like. Maybe a slow pace feels comfortable or a faster clip. Just keep using these phrases to practice directing love towards others or yourself. Hear the phrase or phrases in your mind. And again, notice if there's any resonance or response in the body as you use these phrases. 
perhaps the smile on your face grows or there's a warmth in your heart, sense of joy or love. If there's any positive emotional response, notice that and savor it, feeling it fully and enjoying it. This is a wholesome pleasure that you can enjoy at any time. So really enjoy it. If you'd like, you can stay with the same person or animal for as long as you'd like. Or you can move towards someone else. You can stay with one person for a very long time or move through a lot of different people in a very short time each. doesn't really matter so much. Just practice the same basic skill of using mental talk to create a sense of goodwill and love and feeling that and enjoying it in the body.
Good. Nice work, everyone. And for the last moment or so, before we come out of the meditation, take a moment to look back at your experience during this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened exactly? Did any challenges arise? Did you have any shifts or insights, successes? Take a moment to reflect and consider. <laughs> 